Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recorded this Raksha Bandhan get ready with me kind of a tutorial. This is most likely the look I'm going to wear. If not the lip, I might switch up the lip. Like I might go for more subtle lip option. But so if you want to know how to get this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm starting off with moisturizing my face. I've already moisturized my face with that Aryan Veda cream. And now I'm using two primers. This one, the one I'm using right now is Maybelline's Baby Skin and that is essentially for more smoothening effect and the other one which I used was uh, Lacme's Blur Perfect now that is like an overall brightening primer now you don't have to do this but since my skin needed uh, both the effects I mixed these two primers then as you can see I have acne marks going on and since those have turned quite pinkish so I used a green concealer and I just placed the concealer on the spots and then I'm blending it out with uh, small small fluffy brush essentially and then with the foundation i'm going with my pack hd liquid foundation i'm just going to buff this into my skin now this is a more recent purchase of mine this brush is more recent purchase of mine and ever since i've gotten this i cannot go back not not that i cannot go back to my sponge but i'm enjoying using this brush to the fullest it just gives you this perfect finish and for my cream contour I went with this pack uh, concealer I'll list the shade name in the description box below so you can check that out and I'm working this in section because I feel like once I place it all over and then if I go to blend it it just settles into the skin so I like to uh, work it section by section so I first do one cheek then the other and then I just blend my nose contour also I do my nose or cream contour first because later on when I highlight I can clean up my nose cream contour perfectly so yeah that's why I do uh, contouring first rather than concealing and highlighting and then I'm going with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer underneath uh, like directly underneath my eyes for coverage and with my Glam Girls Cosmetics uh, concealing pen for highlighting first I dotted the concealer and then I was like nah let me drag this all the way out and do extreme extreme highlight um, and then I'm just going to blend all of it out using that brush and by the way if you're wondering about my voice um, I'm recovering from my cold so yeah and then I'm just pressing everything like everything contour highlight foundation everything into my skin with this uh, blender by pack and then I'm going to cream highlight my face with this product this is the uh, Maybelline's duo uh, something I'll list it I'll list everything in the description box by the way so I'm just hitting it on the high highlights oh my god on the highest points of my face you know where you generally highlight right so yeah I, and I'm blending that all out with this sponge again and then I'm just going to set everything because we are done with cream highlight cream contour so I'm just setting everything with my Maybelline uh, super fresh compact I think is the name um, yeah I'm just setting my face uh, nothing to explain okay so now to set the cream contour I'm taking that uh, makeup revolution uh, highlight and contour palette and with a cool tone cool wow with a cool tone um, shade i just placed it first and now i'm blending it in with this more fluffy brush um, so yeah and then to highlight even more like to highlight my under eyes even more i took that yellow powder and i'm just brushing not brushing really just dusting it i'm not packing it just dusting it on underneath my eyes and for my blush i used creamy cinnamon by Maybelline um, you guys know I don't use blush on a regular basis but this day I was feeling it and now I'm setting not setting but misting everything so that everything just looks uh, perfect all together with uh, Glam Girls makeup fixer and I'm just going to bounce my blender once all over my skin very gently you don't want to do this extremely harsh because then you might move around the products so um, yeah I'm just doing that and then moving on to my eyebrows I'm using my uh, Maybelline's fashion uh, fashion brow again name will be in the description box um, so yeah I'm just I'm just filling in my brows I'm not doing anything 
crazy crazy and i wanted to keep my eyes very simple because i knew i'm going with a very bold lip so i just used two colors this one is the first color which i used on my crease now this is not extremely warm but at the same time it is warm enough so i used this uh, shadow from pack cosmetics i listed in the uh, description box and then i used a very um, I don't know what do you call this shade but a very skin toned shimmery shade on my eyelid I placed it with my fingers and then I'm just creating small little wing you know small small little little um, I didn't go all out crazy and bold I just wanted a very feminine soft wing if that was possible um, so yeah I just did that Then tight lined my waterline with Rock the Line Kajal. Rock. Name will be in the description. I'm sorry, I just cannot recall all the names. And then I'm just using mascara. This is by Glam Girls. I like this because when you don't want um, a lot of volume and you want length, this mascara is to go for. I love this mascara for this kind of a look because you can actually see the mascara, like the lengthening effect of the mascara in a simplistic eye look. And now I chose to go with a very bold pink color because I did have that color in my kurti as well. Um, so yeah, I just used this uh, shade by Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Trim. I'll list the product name in the description again. And that's the finished look. I wanted to show you guys how it looks in natural lighting as well. So yeah, don't mind the background, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!